Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to use the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette to create this eye and highlighter look. So I thought I had the regular one, not the Deluxe Edition. Couldn't find it, so I went ahead and ordered this one. And it just has a lot of beautiful neutral colors so there's 21 color eyeshadows and it's a 21 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette um, it's a deluxe edition it exudes the YouTube Beauty Maven signature glam girl style this palette features the 11 original shades plus 10 chic new shades and highlighters in a buttery blendable form with staying power so really looking uh, forward to seeing about the staying power I used a some makeup revolution yesterday and I do like makeup revolution but sometimes it can be hit or miss for me because by the end of the day I was like wow my eyeshadow really kind of has looked muddy and it didn't start out that way so it kind of didn't last during the day so I'm really curious to see how does this one last so I use some browns I use I just used several different colors to create this look and I really wanted to go with the coral look I, I just felt the need for some coral in my life and anyhow so if you want to see how I'm using this palette then please stay tuned and I do want to say thank you to Miss Faye Stur Sturges in the UK who does bridal makeup because this is her favorite or one of her favorite palettes to use for bridal makeup and if I got that wrong Faye go ahead and correct me down below um, but I bought this because of her and so I really liked how they blended and went on and you're gonna see that in just a little bit so get ready get started grab a snack or two if it's in the morning get you some coffee a smoothie I don't know I don't know get going get ready cuz here Our we go we're gonna use the Carly Bible deluxe edition one of my friends uh, uses this and I just I I think this is fantastic um, to go ahead and try. I think I got the smaller one and for some reason I couldn't find it so I don't know if I gave it away. If I ever used it, I don't know. I may have to go back through the my YouTube and see what did I do with it or did I do anything with it or maybe I didn't order it. We're gonna start with this color here. So Miss Faye is a wedding makeup artist, or she, well, she's a makeup artist that does weddings and she uses this palette a lot. And we were talking about this color here and finding a dupe and that color is really hard to find as a dupe. That's her favorite color. I was trying to help her find one. I found some that are close and the unfortunate or fortunate, I don't know, there is a MAC one out there that's very close. Although, you're gonna pay a MAC price. All right, so let's get up on my real estate with this color here, a little peachy. So sometimes I like to do two colors above the crease, so we will move to this next color here. I'm trying to make my eyes look larger and not as hooded. I also want to say hello to Miss Sis. Hi Miss Sis! Alright, I'm working my way down. I think I'm going to stay with the browns and go in with, yeah. So we're going to pick up this color here next. And that's going to be our grease color. I like this palette because it's some soft neutrals. Nothing over the top crazy. Although I do like over the top crazy. As y'all know. What I don't understand about this palette is if I did get the smaller one, the non-deluxe edition, why I wouldn't have kept it. 
because unless she reformulated these or BH Cosmetics reformulated these because they're actually going on really nice and blending well and usually well I don't know I don't know why I would have given it away sometimes when I have issues with palettes I'll give them away because I figure I can't figure out how to use them. Maybe someone else can, and I just don't want them sitting there. Um, the other piece is storage. Got to kind of sometimes separate some palettes out to keep more new favorites in. Goodness knows, as often as a palette comes out and I get all excited, that happens often. I'll just go in with this brown as my outer V. These do have fallout, so you definitely want to tap your brush. And I'm definitely going to want to blend now. I'm going to go back in with this color here. I think building the colors is fun too, just to get a nice kind of graduated color and not so harsh and I mean as I tilt my head back I mean I do have a really good hot mess going on there so we'll clean that up I am going to take a sponge brush and I think I want to go in I'll pick up this color here first that way we have the and our part of the eye a little bit lighter. I'm gonna take that same smudge brush, sponge brush, smudge brush, and go in with this kind of peachy coral. Oh, that's pretty. I do like that coral color. All right, I'm taking the first color we went in with and kind of going up underneath the eyebrows. And then with the brush that I was blending with, kind of blending any harsh lines, I do have fallout. So we're gonna have to address that. And we'll have to address the fact that I got a little, a little crazy there. You just never know with palettes. I mean, sometimes I'll get a palette and think it's gonna have a ton of fallout it has none. And then this one I really didn't think would have fallout even after tapping and it still did. So you just, you just never know. So the next piece I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt my head back because I want to get some of this cleaned up. Because I went way out of bounds. And I'm going to pick up this um, eyeliner. It's bronze from L'Oreal. Normally I use a different color, not the bronze one, so we're going to try bronze. Now we're going to try some of her highlighters. I think I'm going to go with this one here that I had dug my fingernail into. time for mascara. I tried the Better Than Sex yesterday one and hoping that like I don't know I'd like it because I thought I liked it before. We're going back to Better London because everything's better with butter. I know I know I say that a lot. Oh so kind of not funny story but I've been working on my I use the Rodin and Fields like eyelash boost and it had turned the whites of my eyes red. But I was also using some other products too, so I thought, okay, well I'll go ahead and quit using the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost. And one other product I think it was because I wanted to see kind of which one it was. So I put it down for like Two months maybe a month so my, the whites of my eyes came back 
and I'll be dang. I pull back out the Rodan and Fields and it turns the whites of my eyes red. So either I look like I have totally been crying or I look like I'm drunk. Or, yeah. So I'm just absolutely bummed because Rodan and Fields is like one of my favorites as far as skincare goes. I kind of bounce between that one and uh, some of the stuff that I got from the Korean skincare that I did a video on. I really like that too. And so I kind of bounce between the two of those. And so I was like, I cannot believe the Lash Boost, I think is what it's called, has turned the whites of my eyes red. I was so hoping <laughs> that it was that other product I was using and not the Lash Boost. So no Lash Boost as of last night. But it is just crazy to me that it turns the whites of my eyes red. Okay, so this is the end of the Carly Bible look. I did not do anything under my eyes. I can tell it's going to be one of those days where my eyes go a little crazy. And so we're just going to not have anything smoked out. It's just going to be obviously everything up above. I will say it did have, you know, some fallout even after I tapped my brush. So I did have some here, but overall, I mean, I think it blended, let's see, I think it blended well. Um, the colors, I think, blended well together. They're very complementary of one another, which I like. And yeah, I, I think this palette did a really good job. And I love the coral because that just picks up kind of that summer vibe, beachy kind of goodness love me some beachy kind of goodness though i haven't been in a long time so anyways yeah i just kind of i'm glad i picked back up that deluxe edition carly bible palette so thank you miss faye uh, because it is really really pretty and i'll be doing a one of my daughter-in-law to be's makeup very soon she's um so I do have one of the kids that we've mentored is getting married and um, so yeah, it's gonna be fun to, I'm not sure I'll do the coral, but yeah, it's just kind of fun playing with the different colors and seeing what um, you can create. And again, Miss Faye is a makeup artist in the UK that does weddings and I can see why this palette is one that she picks up because it is a very, very pretty palette that is great for bridal and kind of that everyday just natural look if you're into kind of more neutrals, not natural, but maybe natural. I just, I like a lot of color because my skin is so white. I've got to bring out um, some features. Otherwise people go, are you sick? Amy, I saw your video and you look nothing like you do when you have makeup on. That's why I do these videos, to give women hope. Anyways, that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. So I'm gonna go finish my hair and I won't be right back. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.